On this episode of American Muscle's Hot Lap, we hang out with AM customer Mike Zwick in his 2012 GT and talk about breaking the all-motor record. The record is uh, in the 1070s. Uh, I'm currently running in the 1090s. Later, we'll show you guys what I've been up to with my 2014 GT build. Of course, we have some awesome new products to talk about and a few very cool giveaways. Stick around for American Muscle's Hot Lap. Hey guys, Justin here, and welcome to AmericanMuscle.com's Hot Lap, the place to find out what's hot in the Mustang world, some happenings here at American Muscle, some cool project car builds along the way, and some new products that you guys might be interested in for your own ride. Now you're probably wondering, why am I standing in the middle of a track? Well, over the last five years, our American Muscle Mustang show has just exploded into something crazy and something that we could have never imagined. We've basically outgrown our previous location, so that's what leads me here to Maple Grove Raceway, the spot of our sixth annual American Muscle Mustang show, taking place August 16th, and it's sure to be our best one yet, guys. You do not want to miss this one. Making a repeat appearance again this year at our show, our boy Vaughn Gittin Jr. will be there along with his RTR rig, along with a few of his cars, and something very special that he's only going to reveal at our show. Now every year our show benefits a different charity and this year is no different. A portion of the proceeds are going to be benefiting the Special Olympics Foundation, which we're very happy about. And this year guys, I'm really happy to say I'm not doing this alone. I have a familiar face hanging out with me all day long. You guys know him, Brett Big Swag Wagner, Pastime, Monster Garage, Sons of Anarchy. This guy's done it all and dude, thanks so much for helping us out this year. Hey man, you said hey Swag, it's getting so big in the sixth year that we uh, yeah, we needed a little beef to bring down and help out. And we could not be happier to have you helping us out. One of the things I'm real excited about is we have a burnout contest. Who doesn't love a good burnout contest? Said the B word. I think the biggest thing of the show, Brett, this thing behind us. Can you believe we're actually giving the MMD car away, man? Almost 700 horse. Tell me about the car. Real Unbelievable, quick. man. Airlift performance kit, Vortec blower on it. Like Schwag said, about 700 wheel horsepower. And I can't believe we're giving this thing away, man. He said you're going to enter for the little lady. I'm going to have, since I can't win it, I'm going to, the little fiance is going to go for it. So, all right, folks, so it's going down August 16th. I better see you here or else. That's right, man. Right here at the beautiful Maple Grove Raceway Schwag. Thank you so much, sir. Come meet this guy. Come check out all the crazy Mustangs. Just click the link below if you want to join us. And speaking of crazy Mustangs, we recently caught up with the owner of a 2012 GT who was chasing down the all-motor record. Let's check it out. All right, so we're out here in AM Customer Mike's Wicks 2012 Automatic Kona Blue GT. Now, Mike's actually on the chase to beat the unopened motor, automatic, all-motor record, correct, sir? Correct. Stock cams, unopened block. Unopened block. So right now you're, you're the car is running about in the 1090s where the record is in probably 1075, 1074, right around there. Correct. So you're a couple tenths away, uh, but why don't you tell the guys at home how you got to where you are now? Like I said, an unstock, uh, unopened motor, uh, stock cams, stock old pump gear. Car's got right about 30,000 miles. It was a daily driver for first year and a half of ownership. Now it's only on the weekends. But um, got a Cobra Jet manifold and um, monoblade throttle body, five inch cold air intake. Um, we did a set of JBA uh, long tube headers with their H pipes. And we put a Ford Pulse wheel on the uh, motor to make the car spin up higher. So that's the pull string, right? Correct? Because uh, otherwise the automatic, they have a, like a hard code written in the software, right? The car will just not rev any higher than what, 7,500 or something? Yeah, well, uh, right now we're on E85 gas while we're cruising around here. Um, on the dyno, uh, the car did 460 horsepower, 300 and about 99 pound-feet of torque. Um, we just couldn't get it past a certain RPM, but once we put that wheel on, we were able to go up to about 7,900 RPM. That's where you want to be with those Cobra Jets, man. You're at a 1090 now, roughly. You need to get that down a couple of tenths. What are some of your plan plans of action to get it down? Well, right now, the car is about 3,400 pounds. Uh, we did some lightening up, as you can see, inside the side of the interior. We uh, did your rear delete. Uh, we got race seats in the car, aluminum drive shafts. Um, remove the front sway bar with that BMR kit and uh, put some weld racing wheels on the car. So you want to get the car down to about 3,500 pounds with you in it, correct? Right, so I'm going to have to drop about maybe a little about 200 pounds out of the car. So uh, right now the car has got stock K member on the car and stock suspension and shocks and struts. So we're going to do some aftermarket struts uh, and shocks okay. and we're going to do a tubular K arm uh, member. Okay, now tell the guys at home because you actually told me you have some awesome mods coming up here on the menu. Uh, the first of which is a very cool water pump that's not exactly cheap yeah we're going to do a uh, water pump on the on the car uh, it's a bolt-on part on the exterior of the vehicle uh, on the exterior of the motor 
so I uh, won't go into the motor. So uh, we're hoping to get maybe about 10 rear wheel horsepower out of that electric water pump. Now with all the mods you have planned, Mike, uh, motor mods, weight reduction stuff, what are your goals for the car as far as ET? Uh, like I said, we're trying to get that 1070, uh, 1070 ET uh, record. And then once I do that, uh, or get right real close to that, we're gonna go inside the motor. We're gonna put some cams in it and do some head work. Well, that should be exciting. Now guys, we are definitely gonna follow Mike down to the track. When he decides to go for that record, you're gonna wanna see it. So subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Click the link below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're catching this on Facebook, head over to our YouTube channel and subscribe while you're there. Now, I actually saw Mike recently at a dyno day local to us, and he took me for a little blast in the car, and he actually surprised me. He had a trans brake on this thing. I didn't know you had one on it. Launch it off me, put me back in the seat. I felt this thing launch, but why don't we show these guys at home how this thing does on the street? You ready? All right, let's see if we can hook it. All right. <laughs> Woo, that looked like fun, man. Mike, thanks so much for bringing the car out today, brother. We really appreciate it. She sure is clean and she sure does rip, man. Thanks, man. Well, guys, again, we're going to head down to MIR and watch Mike go for that record. So if you want to keep track of this, you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the link below if you are watching this on YouTube. And if you're catching this on our Facebook channel, then head over to our YouTube channel, American Muscle Videos, and be sure to subscribe while you're there. Mike, thanks again, dude. No problem. Hey guys, so kicking off the new products that are available this month in August, we have the CNL line of cold air intakes and accessories. So these products fit a wide range of Mustangs, anything from a Fox body all the way on up to the newer gen S197. Everyone knows the CNL name, it's been around for a long time, you know you're getting a good product that'll give you good solid gains either with or without the Bama custom tune. If you guys remember, Justin actually put one on his 2014 GT and stage one of his project build. All right, so of course, pairing your CNL cold air intake with a Bama Custom Tune will only give you greater gains. We saw this already with our automatic 2011 GT, where we threw on an 11 to 14 CNL cold air intake. We had Bama come out, custom tune the car real quick, and we picked up over 50 horsepower and 50 foot-pounds of torque throughout the curve. So we know you guys love contests, and this month in August, we'll be giving away a CNL cold air intake and a Bama X4 tuner with a custom tune to one of our YouTube subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you do so by clicking the link below. If you are already, don't worry about it, you're automatically entered to win. So make sure you guys sign up today to enter for your chance to win and get some more power out of your ride. So I had mentioned earlier that Justin had installed a CNL on his 2014 in stage one of his build. Well now Justin's actually used two different CNL products and you're gonna have to watch further to see what I'm talking about. Hey guys, Justin here. As you can see, I have my 14 back in the shop. We're doing a little bit more work on it today. Definitely diving into the engine bay a little bit. Really excited to show you about all of this stuff here. And we're going to do a little bit of appearance stuff. So I'll kind of show you where that GT500 theme is tying into. Now, you always hear me tell you, and guess what I'm going to tell you one more time. So subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. You can see the progress I'm making with my own car. In addition, some of our own project cars here at the shop and some other fun vids. So let's check this out. All right, guys, some of you may have recognized this bad boy. That's right, I'm going with the Cobra Jet intake manifold. A lot of you guys have been asking to see it on our YouTube page, and I've been dying to do it. So here it is, man. We're going to throw this thing on my 14, see how it does. Now, if you don't know about this, it's basically, you can expect a lot of top end gains without any of the torque loss you'd see with a Boss manifold. So it's kind of a rare thing right now. Not a whole lot of people are doing it for a couple of different reasons, but I mean, you can't deny the gains. So hopefully this thing delivers. And in conjunction with that, I'm throwing on the Super Cobra Jet Mono Blade throttle body. Really let this thing breathe. It should be a pretty awesome setup when we're all said and done. Currently, I'm about 375-ish with just like an intake. Uh, nothing too crazy. So hoping for around 420 plus horsepower, uh, considering I'm still on stock manifold, stock headers. So we are going to throw an off-road H-pipe on this and see how it does. Now, we're going to finish up here under the hood. Then we're going to tackle the intake because we have to get a little custom there. All right, guys, like I told you earlier, we had to get a little custom with the cold air intake because as of now, no major companies have released a cold air for this setup. There's a couple smaller shops that are hand making the intakes, but honestly, I just wanted to throw this thing on and get it going. So basically, here's what we did. We grabbed a 2010 CNL cold air intake for the three valve cars because they still have that oval shaped throttle body going on. 
We made some small modifications and here it is, it works. It looks pretty good on there. Now we just have to see how this thing's gonna perform. We are gonna get underneath the car. Ryan and I are gonna throw on the off-road H-pipe from pipes. To see what else I did with my car in this video and what those dyno numbers are, just simply click on that link below to check out the rest of the video over on our YouTube channel. Well, after months of speculation and months of waiting, those 2015 horsepower numbers are finally in, guys. So let's talk about them a little bit. Starting with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost, this little thing's putting out 310 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque. Sounds like a whole lot of fun. We'll have forged connecting rods, forged pistons, and that twin scroll turbo. So needless to say, give them a little help, a little massaging. This little motor will probably put down a lot more power reliably, so we cannot wait to get our hands on one of these. V6 actually lost a little power this year, going from 305 down to 300, while the torque remained the same at 280 pound-feet of torque. Ford actually attributes this to the newly redesigned intake manifold that they had to do with the newly redesigned hood, the lower hood line of the S550. But nevertheless, I think the 3.7 is actually going to be starting to phase out a little bit. I think they're going to start kind of moving towards that EcoBoost platform that they've kind of adopted lately. And I think it will actually take the place of the 3.7 down the road. But that's just me. We'll have to wait and see on that. Last but not least, the Coyote motor, really newly redesigned for this year, and the numbers are in. 435 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. Now that's 15 more horsepower than last year and 10 more pound-feet of torque. Guys, I know you might not be totally thrilled about this. I know I was hoping for a little bit more personally, but regardless, it's more, so that's good. Now, there also is some very cool new things going on inside the motor. Obviously, new heads completely, new, new camshafts, including more lift than the previous Boss 302 cams, and stiffer valve springs. So even though Dave Piersack himself told me that this motor would not rev any higher from the factory. Uh, it's not going to rev any higher as far as okay. the red line goes, but you are going to get more horsepower out of it and, and more uh, torque. One can only imagine that given a tune, this thing should have no problem revving higher and do so all day long. We also are seeing the Roadrunner forged connecting rods from the previous Boss motor, but unfortunately it does not get the Boss forged pistons, which isn't the end of the world, and uh, some other cool little things as well. One thing I'm not terribly happy about is this new integrated Manny Cat Ford thing is calling it, which basically means they've integrated the catalytic converter into the actual long tube header or the manifold part. So gone are the days of just throwing on an off-road X-pipe or H-pipe like you could with the 11 to 14 GTs. Now you actually have to get rid of those factory manifolds, put on an aftermarket set of long tubes to get rid of those cats. So I know this might affect some people out there. Um, obviously a lot of people like going with those off-road setups, myself included. So it just takes a little bit more work here at the 2015. But uh, nevertheless, we do want to hear what you guys are thinking about all these changes, the horsepower numbers, and again, some of the changes to the Coyote motor. All right, Mustang fans, I'm sure by now you've heard the news of Dodge's new Hellcat dethroning our beloved 13 and 14 Shelby GT500 as the highest production horsepower V8 in the world, coming in at a very impressive 707 horsepower. Well, not so fast, Fat Cat. Apparently Ford has something very big up its sleeve. How big, you ask? Well, how about 750 horsepower big? Yeah, I know. Uh, I know it might be a little silly to talk about this mythical SVT Mustang as of now, as it's just a rumor, but come on guys, that's what we do here. So we want to know what you think about this thing. Drop us a comment wherever you're watching this and let us know. Recently, we also caught some photos and videos of the 2016 GT350R ripping around the Nürburgring in Germany. And wow, guys, if you haven't seen this yet, you definitely have to check it out. Just click the link below. Way more aggressive than the 2015 GT, in my opinion, in regards to the front end has some big gnarly carbon ceramic brakes on it and a crazy exhaust note. So again, guys, just click on the link below to head back to our blog. If you haven't seen this already, you will not be disappointed. Okay guys, so adding to the list of new products that we have here at AmericanMuscle.com this month is this SR Performance Short Throw Shifter. Now, some of the highlights of the shifter include the aluminum CNC machined quality construction. You can reuse your stock shift knob with a shifter if you'd like. This offers a 40% reduction in the throw, which is pretty cool. You can bang some gears with that. But one of the other coolest features of the shifter is you can adjust the height of it. Now this is an option that not all aftermarket short throw shifters offer for three valve Mustangs. And this isn't gonna break the bank either. So you guys all know, last month we told you about HRE wheels being added to the AmericaMuscle.com website. This month, I'm super excited to announce that AmericaMuscle.com is expanding their premium wheel selection even further with Vaws and wheels. We're going to be offering balls and wheels in a bunch of different styles and a bunch of different finishes. Right here in front of me, I have a CV3 wheel and a machine matte silver finish. The CV3 wheel is also on the 2014 behind me and a machine matte black finish. Right here in front of me, I have a CV5 wheel and a matte graphite finish. 
And finally, down here, we have a CV7 wheel and a silver polish finish. Now, you're definitely getting what you pay for for these wheels. You get great quality wheels with a very unique style that you don't see in many other Mustang wheels. These are definitely baller status wheels. So, if you want to check out these wheels, the SR Performance Shifter, and the other new products in this month's video, click the link below. This is a great squat. Good flow motion. I do my squats. Do my burpees. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, before we get out of here, of course, I do want to announce the winner from last month's video where we did ask you guys to get the closest to one of our 2015s that we have on order in regards to color and trim level. And the winner for that contest is YouTube user Steve O'Donnell, who guessed our 2015 competition Orange DT. Congrats, man, and enjoy the $100 gift card here on the site. Now, we are also giving away more parts. I know you guys love that. Steph has already thrown in a CNL and a tuner combo for you guys. Well, I'm about to give away a full Cook's long tube setup along with a mid pipe to one owner of a 96 to 14 Mustang. All you have to do is simply click on that link below and good luck. All right guys, well that is officially gonna wrap us up for this month's episode of American Muscle's Hot Lap. Now we really hope you enjoy where we're going with this new format. And of course, if there's something that we're not doing that you'd like to see, just drop us a comment wherever you're watching this and we'll definitely try to get it done. Whether it's more car profiles, part installs, product comparisons, the sky's the limit. So again guys, thanks for watching. I'm out of here and you know what to do. For all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.